opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Boss's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. Let's jump quickly to uh, Rajasthan. Sanju Samson, uh, keeping, uh, sorry, captain for them, of course. Uh, this is the team that uh, they bought. And uh, very interesting there, they managed to get UZ Chehal. It was very strange that Bangalore, one of the most successful bowlers in the history of, uh, of the Bangalore team. And uh, they managed to get him there. Their batting as well, when you look at the top, uh, I'm liking that. I'm liking the batting that they have at the top. Let's have a quick look at their probable 11 and see who could be playing. They've got some very interesting options there. Uh, and their bowling is uh, it's not looking too bad. There you go. There's no Navdeep Sen in this because Prasid Krishna is kind of listed yeah. here ahead of him. Sorry, sorry, Harsha. My only issue with this is, yeah, no, my only issue with this is, will Prasid Krishna be the bowler that we all know he can be? At the moment, his yeah, economy rate in the death overs is, is pretty high. But I mean, he's got he's got to grow. Trent Bolt will bowl at the start. Ashwin can bowl at the start, and they've got Ashwin and Chahel, which is a very intriguing spin bowling combo uh, that, that they have within them. Then they've got uh, either Coulter Nile or somebody like that. They could play Jimmy Nisham. Can we get that eleven up again? Let's see if you agree with that. Because Jimmy Nisham is more batsman than bowler. They need more bowler than batsman with the kind of batting that they have. So maybe someone like a Coulter Nile, or if they back yeah. their batting. If they back their batting, I mean, here we've got Nisham, but look what happens with this with, with this line up. You've got Jimmy Nisham bowling three, four overs every day because Rian Parag is not giving you more than one or two overs at the moment. And yeah. Jimmy Nisham is not ready to give you three, four overs yet. And that's why I thought, given the strength of the top six, they could go with Coulter Nile instead of Nisham. But if they really back their top six and say, Ashwin at seven, go and give us runs, they could play this very interesting West Indies bowler called Obed McCoy. Yeah. And yeah. Obed McCoy can bowl at the death. So Trent bowled at the top, Obed McCoy at the at, at the end. But then they'll have to back Ashwin to bat at uh, bat at seven. Uh, and then bowled Chahel, Prasid Krishna, they've got no batting. Batting ends at seven. I'm really so liking their bowling though. I mean, if you look game. four look at four Very of their good. bowlers, right? You look at Ashwin and Yuzi, well, dream spin combination. You've got Trent Bolt, who is fantastic in this format, Prasid, who's upcoming. Uh Joy, this is this is looking good. Look at these four. Any team would want these four. I think, look, they have a very decent bowling attack. They have a very decent top three or four or five batsmen. They have very decent. Their only problem is, I think, this team is just a little short on all-rounders, which is what Harsha was referring to as well. Yeah. Because, you know, Riyan Parag, how many overs does he give you? Nisham, how many overs does he give you? So, between Riyan Parag, Nisham and Nathan Coulter-Nile, Ashwin, again, you take in that, you know, put into that pie. You have that little bit of a situation where you need more of those guys to give you something more. And I don't know, they might be even tempted to play Darren Mitchell, you know, because he can give them, with, you know, both with the ball and with the bat, he can give them a bit. Their problem is going to be all rounders. I think their top five is pretty decent. The other thing is they need Yashasvi Jaiswal and Devdath Padikal to have decent seasons. They're putting a lot on those faith on those two guys because literally there aren't too many other batsmen who are going to slot in there in the top five. They've gone with these Indian batsmen. Uh, they really need good seasons from them. Yeah. I'm confident they can give it to Joy, them. What but... they... Yeah. Yeah. No, Joy, what they've done is they've taken Devdat Padikal, paid him 7.75 crores for a young kid, and told him we're going to play you out of position. He's like saying, I've got this, yeah. I've paid a lot of money for a winger, for a winger, and I'm going to play him down the middle. Yeah. So how he adjusts to number three, because they've made it very clear that Jaiswal's going to open. He had a 19 ball 50 last time, Jaiswal. So they're very clear Jaiswal's going to open. How Padikal slots in, that's why I agree with Joy that if those two have big seasons, but listen, around them we are talking of one of the T20 greats. Joss Butler is unlikely to go back and play Test cricket for England again. I won't be surprised if Joss Butler says, I've had enough of the red ball game. I'll become a white ball superstar that I am. I'll stay the white ball superstar that I am. Can you imagine on either side if Butler and Samson have good seasons? Wow, you're talking. Man. So I was asked, who is your dark horse? It's very tough to name a dark horse where everyone's first eleven is good. This is my dark horse team. Yeah. There's, there's issues with the bowling as well. Bolt of 21 wasn't quite the bolt of 20, but he's still still Trent Bolt. He's still a good bowler. If Rian Parag can say, I will give two three overs every single game, yeah. then they can play Nisham. Then they if can, can play Nisham. Yeah, if he can do that below the sea level, Kedar Jadav kind of bowling, right? Uh, which kind of takes batters by surprise. Yeah, uh, but, really but more bowling than effect. 
I'd like yeah. to see more bowling than effect from yeah. Riyan Parag. <laughs>